Hey, what's up guys? You guys have been asking me and I've been putting it off because I'm really lazy and I'm not a real YouTuber. I'm like, yeah, now here's some gameplay. So you guys wanted my setup tour. Uh, this is not my setup. It looks like a setup, but it is not my setup. This is my spoiled guest setup. So if I have a friend over, they kind of, it's not in my stream room, it's kind of like separate so that way they can do their thing without me being nearby. And then when they're done, they can go to bed. But I wanted to start here because technically it is a setup in my home and it's it's part of the setup tour. So starting off the bat, we have the PG258Q. It's the Asus 240 native hertz monitor. I'll tell you more about it later. I have like, I have another one in my room. So I'll tell you more about it in detail later. I'm gonna go in detail with all this. So if you think this is gonna be a quick video, like you thought wrong. Uh, I'll have to put something in the description or the comments, like timestamps as to where all the products are. It's gonna be long, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a BenQ, it's the 2420T. It's, it's an older monitor I just found in storage. It's mainly just so I have something for my guests to put like Twitch chat on, you know, like Facebook or something while he's playing on this one. So that's the two monitors. This is the Asus ROG Claymore. It's just the core edition, there's no number pad. I personally don't like the number pad because it gives you more mouse space. So that's the thought process behind that. This is the ROG Sheath. It's just a big fucking mouse pad. Like I said, all the products are gonna be in the description somewhere. I'll make it work, I don't know, I don't YouTube. You guys are familiar with my Gladius mouse, the ROG Gladius, this is the number one. I personally like the number one more than the number two. That's just my preference. This right here is a mouse bungee. Uh, I don't remember where it's from, I think it's like TK something. I really don't know, TT, so I don't know man. It'll be in the product description. Guest computer, uh, this has a GTX 1080 in it. Uh, what else? It's got a Ryzen 7 1800X. I don't know what motherboard. 16 gigs of DDR4 with 3000 megahertz. So it, it's a monster. Nonetheless, it, it's better than most people's main setups for a guest setup. I know a bunch of people were like, wow, his guest setup shits on my main setup. I'm sorry. It's just like if I have someone come over, like Gail was supposed to come over, Baby Bay was supposed to come over. These people were supposed to come over and play, and when they come to play, I don't want them to have to worry about bringing anything. So I wanted them to have the hardware they need, the monitor they need, everything that they needed to like hang, you know what I mean? So with that being said, we're gonna move into the next room. This next room is my stream room, and that's where all of my equipment is. So, let's go. Oh, hey, what's <laughs> up guys? Come check out my house on an episode of Cribs. <laughs> nah, so on the real, this is my setup tour. Faded into the next section, because you just came from the guest setup part. First things first, off the bat, you see this giant wall. One, it adds texture to the room. Two, it helps with sound dampening, which gives me a nice, like, clean audio effect when I'm streaming or when I'm recording, like right now. There's not a hollow effect, really echoey, whatever, blah, 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 blah. It fucking does things. <laughs> but since the setup tour is supposed to be detailed, these are one foot, one foot little squares. They are, I think, one inch thick. I didn't do the two inch, or maybe I did. I don't know, I think it's one inch. The way that they're set on the wall, they are not adhesive to the wall like most people do. I took the foam, I took a spray adhesive, 3M, sprayed the foam, stuck a piece of cardboard to the back, let it dry, stuck a command strip onto that bitch, and put it on the wall. So this is stuck by a command strip. Caffrey, if it's stuck to the wall like that, it's not really sealed, is it working? Yes, it's fucking foam, so it still works. We Gucci. So, moving on from that, that's a window. Hey, cool window. <laughs> bookshelf. <clears throat> I'm very proud of my bookshelf. Bookshelf height, hell yeah. Uh, this just holds a bunch of things that have like sentimental value to me. Things that I like, really appreciate or like big memories in my life of gaming. Uh, the bookshelf was from Wayfair. The rest of the shit you can't probably buy, at least I don't think. Uh, and then the RGB lights on the back, I bought on Amazon. I guess I could put that in the product description with the bookshelf. That's kind of weird, right? I don't really know. So, moving on from the bookshelf, we have the privacy wall that separates me. It's the backdrop for the stream. I have some jerseys on here, some old apparel that you can't get anymore, uh, a couple passes to like events that I went to. Some of the things that my viewers have sent me are right here. I have more stuff to put up here, so if you don't see your stuff up here, I apologize. I ran out of these clips. So when I get more clips, I'll put your stuff up. I'm really sorry, I'm still working on it. So, with that being said, we'll move on to my actual setup. 
So my actual setup, disclaimer, okay? This is gonna get really messy really fast. There's a lot of shit and Devin doesn't know any of it. And Devin's working the camera. So I'm gonna be constantly command handing to guide the camera where to go so she doesn't like, oh, and this is this. And she's like, ooh, that's pretty, you know? So you guys will have to keep up too. Again, the products will be below in the description so you guys can figure it all out. <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> Step one, <laughs> this is an uninterruptible power supply. I don't remember the wattage of it. I really don't. But its sole purpose is strictly this computer with this monitor. So that way, in the event of a power outage, my stream, because this is my stream computer, my stream computer stays alive and my monitor stays alive. That way the stream doesn't die. Uh, I have another one on my router upstairs and my modem. And I have like a shit, I have like five throughout my house. I don't know, we'll get there. Moving on. You guys already saw this, the ROG Claymore. It's pretty, I like it, so I got it. <laughs> this is just the Joel Junkie 60 Hertz 60 FPS Acer monitor. Its sole job is to pull up OBS and like, it just does its job, all right? You're already familiar with the Gladius. This is the Whetstone mouse pad. It's textured, it's small. It's what I use with my laptop or my stream setup. <sighs> this is the UX2. This is the mix amp that goes to my XLR microphone. So I have an XLR cable that plugs into my mix amp, which plugs into my microphone. This mix amp is a line six, UX2 again, that's the name of it. And this is the USB cord that plugs into the back of the computer. Computer. <clears throat> this is my stream computer. Inside this stream computer is a lot of crap. This is a media thing, it just holds memory cards. That way when I go to edit this YouTube video, I can plug it into this machine. Uh, those are just some headphones. Uh, apart from that, so in the stream computer, there is <clears throat> uh, let me try to remember. There is a GTX 1080. There is an i7 6950X. Um, 30, I think there's 32 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM. And it's water cooled with, I think it's the 8100 or the 101. I think it's the 8100. Uh, the product description will be below, but it's water cooled with that. Apart from that, the motherboard is the Rampage fucking, was it the Rampage 10 edition? I think it is, the uh, anniversary edition. So that'll also be in the description. So that's all my stream computer. The Rampage, 32 gigs of fucking 3200 megahertz RAM, DDR4. I think it's a uh, fucking Corsair Vengeance with the i7-6950X with a GTX 1080. Yes, it's overkill for a stream computer. It doubles as if my computer goes down, I have another one to play on. So moving from there, I think I covered everything. <clears throat> that's the stream computer. It's got the media. That's everything. So I, I think I got it all there. So Mixamp Line 6 UX2. This is a cloud lifter. This provides uh, phantom power to the microphone. So for example, my microphone takes a lot of power. So what that means is it needs power to be, ah, dude, I'm gonna piss some audiophiliac off somewhere because I don't really know audio well. But from my understanding, the microphone requires a lot of power to use. So it takes that power from this Line 6 UX2 box, which gets its power from the computer. What ends up happening is I up the gain on this mix amp, and then there's background noise and feedback and static in the microphone. So to prevent that, I get extra power by using this cloud lifter in the back. So cloud lifter, that, that's how I do it. Someone somewhere is going to buy my setup and they're going to wonder how to set it up. So for the guy that does that, you plug in the Line 6 to your computer through the USB, plug your XLR cable into the front, plug that XLR cable into the cloud lifter. On the other side of the cloud lifter, plug your XLR in, plug that one into the mic. So continuing on, now that that's been said. From the cloud lifter, it's going up this microphone boom arm right here. It's all wired through. And that ends up right here at my microphone, which is in a shock mount and has a pop filter in front of it. So if you're wondering why I'm holding the camera myself and I'm wearing glasses all of a sudden, I was editing the video and I realized that I forgot to tell you what kind of microphone I was using. So this microphone right here, it's the RE20. So if you were wondering in the video what microphone I was using, it is an RE20. I'll probably just plug this in somewhere that kind of makes sense or kind of fits. But yeah, sorry about that. So now that that's covered, we're gonna back up a little bit. <laughs> sorry, like I said, I'm. It's, a, it's gonna be a long day. Headphones. These are the ROG Centurion 7.1 surround sound headphones. 
They were pretty great. They're really fucking big, as you can tell. Like, I have a big hand. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get when you uh, knock shit over, Brian. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back on there. So, anyways, it's big. <clears throat> I knock it over. Uh, the wife accidentally stopped the recording. <laughs> I'm going to crop this in wherever it feels natural. Welcome back. <laughs> so, I have notes. This is a DX Racer. I don't know what model. I bought it a few years back. Is it great? Yeah, it's something to put my ass on. So, moving that out of the way. It's the, uh, for the fucking stick work. You said this was gonna be detailed. It's Iron Series, it's for fat people. I fit in it, I am 230 something pounds. It fits me. There you have it. This table, I don't know, it's from Ikea. I forgot about this desk over here. I don't know where I got this desk either. It was in my mom's house, like when I was in fourth grade. I don't know, I inherited it. This table I got from Ikea, I don't have the name, I don't have the product number, I literally walked in with a, I want that table. And they're like, okay. So, moving on. <clears throat> Keynotes, so that way I don't forget. Uh, disclaimer, in case you already didn't know, yes, I'm sponsored by Asus ROG. I am sponsored. This video is sponsored. All of my hardware is from Asus ROG. For those that know me from before I had more than 10 subscribers, I already used Asus hardware, which is why they hit me up in the first place. Because I already used it, and it wouldn't cost them any money to send me anything, because I already had it. I would never partner or affiliate with somebody who sucks ass. It's actually like, I think it's in my contract, I said, I will not push products that suck ass. So, now that we're doing that, <clears throat> starting with the left, PG25Q. It's a 258Q. I said PG25Q. It's a pg 258 this is the same monitor that was out in the other room. It's 24 and a half inches, full HD. It has a native 240 hertz refresh rate, which is important because, like, I don't fucking know. Like, for FPS games that I play, refresh rate's like a really big deal. I mean, if you have a 60 hertz refresh rate at home, you're seeing movement, movement, movement. 240 hertz, you're seeing movement, 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 movement. Like, you're seeing it constantly refreshing. If you're playing an FPS game, the higher refresh rate, the better. Assuming that you can meet the frames per second to get to that, that's a whole other thing we'll talk about in a bit. So that's the PG258Q. Other big things to know about it, it has G-Sync and it can do like some really cool blue light, back light thing, kind of like on your phone, the blue light filters. Uh, there you go. This monitor, PG279Q, it's 1440p, I'm pretty sure it's 27 inches. It's got all the same crap. It's got G-Sync, it's got customizable LEDs, just like the other one. The reason I use, like, oh, okay, why do you use 27 inch instead of a 24 and a half over here? So the reason I, sorry, I got a notification. The uh, reason I use the 27 inch over here, as you can see, I have my stream stuff on here. So like, here's notifications, here's Twitch chat, here's my Facebook, here's my dashboard for Twitch, here's my, you know, Spotify. I like having more space to see things while I'm playing over here. Moving on. This right here is the mix amp for the ROG Centurion 7.1 headphones. This right here is my Elgato Stream Deck. So all these buttons do something different. This is my intro button. This is my Overwatch button. This is my face button for full face cam. This mutes my mic. This tweets out that I'm going live. I can kind of program any of these keys to do anything I want. So. If I want to change, and that the reason, well, Kevin, why is that so useful? Like, couldn't you just keybind it to your keyboard? Yes and no. Since that's my stream computer, in order for me to actually mute my stream, I would have to walk over here and actually press the mute button. Instead, I have this Elgato Stream Deck over here connected to that computer so I don't have to travel anymore. Moving on. This, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Rocket. I don't, I think it's called Rocket. It's a, uh, it's got power, and it's a USB 3.0, was a 3.6.7, 7 USB hub. So 3.0, 7 USB hub. That's plugged into my computer. So I have it there to take like my mouse, my keyboard, my headset, my second mic, which I'll get to. Yeah, I got a second mic. All that plugs into my computer way over there in that fancy glowing server cabinet that you're wondering, what is that big thing back there? We're all over the place. <clears throat> this microphone right here. This is an AT2020, AT stands for Audio Technica, at least I think that's what it stands for. This is a AT2020 microphone, it's USB powered, it is not XLR, that is solely for in-game voice. Mainly because I am too dumb to figure out 
how to get this microphone to speak to that computer stream and my game. I just gave up. I, I literally was like, fuck it, I'm not figuring it out. Plugged in an AT2020, that's my game chat, that's my Discord chat. This is solely for streaming now. Okay, moving on. Move my chair out of my way a little bit. So, you got my TT Sports whatever mouse bungee. This makes it to where my cord can move freely and not have to worry about getting snagged on anything. This is my uh, wedding ring, so when everyone's like, oh, Jeffrey, I never wear your wedding ring. It's right there, it's heavy as fuck, it's made of tungsten, and I'm actually allergic to tungsten. I don't like gaming with it on, so I leave it right there. This is a Samsung fast charger, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, stick my phone on it, and the fucker charges. It's kind of great. And it also lets me see my notifications when it happens. So, moving on from that, ROG Sheath, ROG Gladius, ROG Claymore, you've already seen these things. This is a Logitech C922. The C922, if I'm not mistaken, it goes 1080 30 FPS or 720 60 FPS. When I am streaming, I run it in 1080 30 FPS, mainly because I stream in 1080 60 FPS. So 1080 to 1080. C920, it's on a tripod. This is my hand cam. It's also known as bookshelf cam if you were watching those two streams. Kefri, why don't you switch the C922 with the C920? That would make too much damn sense. The C922 should be here so I can record my mouse in 720-60 FPS. Instead, it's being recorded in 720-30 FPS. Hand movements would look more fluid. You guys would probably appreciate it. I'm just lazy, man. I don't really have a good reason. It's just, it's already here. So, it's already here. This is Gamer Grip. It makes your hands chalky. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get any commission off that. I just use the shit. These are my glasses. Over here is another Rocket 7 USB hub. This goes to my computer in here. Or no, no, I'm sorry. This one goes to my stream computer way over there. So that one goes to my computer. This one goes to my streaming computer. I think. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, 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 it does. Okay. So, the way that this all works, sorry about that, I'm fucking, I don't even know my own setup. So, I have this mic, or I actually have this webcam and that webcam plugged into the this USB hub right here. And then this USB hub has a USB cord that reaches to about midway to my desk. And then I have an extension USB cord that plugs into that one and then connects the rest of the way to the stream computer. So, that's probably why the microphones are experiencing that lag because it goes microphone into USB 7.0 hub into USB extension cord into computer. So it's going through like three different like routes of travel to send that signal. That's probably why it's failing me. I really should find a way to get that webcam directly plugged in. In the meantime though, work with what I got. So if you're wondering what the under desk looks like, this is all the wiring and all the management. So you'll see that there's these little boxes. That's what I do to try to keep the cords clean. It's still a big mess. Uh, to note that giant thing in the middle behind the uh, cable protector, that is another power, uh, like power supply and surge protector. So that one solely helps with my peripherals. That's what all my USB hubs are plugged into, my monitors, anything that requires power that isn't my computer goes into that giant box. So that way, they all keep power for uh, probably like 30 or 45 minutes until shit hits the fan. Careful, what's that bag? That bag is a natural air purifying charcoal bag. In other words, when I sit here and sweat and my feet smell and my ass stinks, or I breathe <laughs> funny, or I eat weird foods, that bag's job in life is to make it not smell like shit. It does a pretty good job. All right, <clears throat> moving on. So, that's the cabling. This is a Navpoint server cabinet. I don't use it for a server cabinet. Instead, I use it as a glamorized fucking bookshelf type thing. Uh, it is locked right now, so that way you can't get in it. So I have like a fucking key on my keychain to unlock it. It doesn't really matter, you just shatter the glass if you wanted to steal my shit. I just lock it so that way the door doesn't open. Up here is a really crappy router hub thing. It doesn't, I, I don't know anything about it. It literally just takes the Cat6A that runs from my wall to the router, and then another Cat6A from my router to my Xbox, and another Cat6A from my router to my computer. And then another one from my router to my stream computer. Alright, 
So, moving on from that. Xbox One, my computer. Um, in my gaming computer, there's currently a, uh, what is in there? I think it's an X99 Pro Carbon motherboard with an i7 6850K, uh, pretty sure it's a 6850K uh, fucking CPU. I think that's the six core one. Sorry, I'm, I've been, like, there's so many computer parts that I'm like forgetting, but I'm pretty sure it's an i7 6850K. There is 16 gigs of DDR4 3200, which is, is it? Shit, I don't remember now. It might be 3K instead of 3200. It doesn't really matter. Buy 3K. It doesn't, shit, buy 24, it doesn't matter. Um, that's in there. There's a GTX 1080 Ti in there. So, that one, like, I have notes on because there's, like, certain, like, things about the 1080 Ti that I don't know a lot about, but I have to write it down. So, because someone here is going to ask, what's the clock speed? I, I don't know. Uh, so it has a 1708 boost clock. Is it, okay, so this is the Strix, uh, the Asus ROG, like, Strix 1080 Ti. So it has a 1708 boost clock, has 11 gigs of DDR5, 352-bit memory, uh, 3600 CUDA cores, roughly... It has the uh, Asus RGB lighting, but it doesn't really matter for me. Apart from that, it has some max content. It says max contact plus auto extreme manufacturing technology. Something about delivering two times more GPU to the heatsink, yada, yada, yada. Premium quality aerospace super alloy, two components. <laughs> Marketing stuff, right? Uh, fan connect maximizes cooling performance. So that is one thing like all sell out like aside. You guys always ask me, Kepri, is your system water cooled? How the fuck is your GPU so cool? Like, I don't know how your GPU is that cool. This is why. Whatever this sell out stuff is that I'm reading, Auto Extreme delivers two time more GPU to heat sink contact for increased cooling efficiency with premium quality aerospace grade super alloy power two components. Fan Connect 2 maximizes cooling performance with three aerial fans to deliver 105% more air pressure and dual four pin headers for reference chassis to fan GPU temperatures. All that sellout that I just said right there and blah blah blah, that's why it's so cool. I don't know what it means, I just know that it keeps the thing fucking cool. Apart from that, yes, it's 5K gaming ready. 5K, not 4K, 5K, and VR ready. So those are like the big things to know about the 1080 Ti fucking Asus Strix Overclock Edition card. Good stuff. What else is in there? Uh, so I gave you the CPU, I gave you the GPU, I gave you the motherboard, I gave you the RAM. It's a 1300 watt power supply. I forgot to tell you that it's not in this computer, it's in that computer. There is an internal capture card. It's an Elgato HD60 Pro. I plug my HDMI 2.0 cable which, Kefri, what's the difference between the HDMI cables? HDMI basic cables, transfer audio, visual, whatever. The new ones can do like ethernet and like shit like that in the HDMI cable. I had a display cord from here to my computer, or to my monitor. And then I have another cord, an HDMI from here to the capture card. And then from the capture card to my other monitor. And then that's kind of how that works. So there's, a, there's an internal capture over there. Moving on. That's everything that's in here. The CPU cooler that I used for my 6850K is a Noctua DH14, I think. It's the one with the two silver chunks. It'll be in, all of these will be in the description. So if I fuck up a part name, just know it'll be in the description somewhere. This is another power supply. It's the same one that is on my stream computer, but this one's only job in life is my router, my sick RGB lighting, and this computer right here. So, up here in the case, if you care about it, I have it disabled. These are two giant fans that can like suck oh, the power and air out of this little chassis so that way it doesn't get hot. If you notice in the back, there's no wall. I took the back off of it. I took the back off because I didn't want to enable these fans because they're super fucking loud while streaming. And honestly, this case is for show. It's not really supposed to do anything cool. So I disabled the fans and I took the back off, so there's no heating issues. It doesn't even get remotely warm in this thing. Yeah, <clears throat> this is a light. It, uh, I think it's like 4K natural lights. It's just light boxes. It gives the room a white feel instead of a yellow, like, feel, I don't know. Sound dampening in the corners. The remote that controls my RGB lighting's over here, but Devin's off doing something pretty, poking oh, around. No. 
didn't get it. Meanwhile, so here's the remote. So this controls this light in here and the one on the bookshelf. It can do both at the same time. It's got an IR sensor. So that was everything that's in the computer, um, or in the cabinet rather. With that being said, I want to stress two things. Because someone's going to walk away from this and they're going to buy the wrong thing. And I don't want you guys to buy the wrong thing if you're going to buy something. With, um, with that being said, my, chap my lips are getting chapped. I need a little water. Yes, there's a GTX 1080 Ti in my computer. It is not necessary to have a 1080 Ti to power my 240 hertz monitor. The only reason I have a 1080 Ti with a 240 hertz monitor is because I just wanted the best of the best. So if you're trying to get a 240 hertz monitor, right, and you still want 240 frames to meet the 240 hertz, your hertz should always be equal with your frames. So if you wanted 240 frames to meet with your 240 hertz monitor, you could use a 1080, if not even a 1070. My other computers have 1080s in them because they can push the requirement for 240 hertz. The only reason I have a 1080 Ti is honestly because it's a really fucking nice overkill card if I wanted to do 4K or 5K gaming in the future. It is not a requirement for that monitor. I just want to stress that out. In reverse, that monitor is not a requirement for this card. They're not a package thing that you have to have. So I just want to stress that you don't need this card unless you're going for some fucking crazy shit. You can use a 1080. It's an amazing card, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely like the max level enthusiast card. The 1080 will last you a long time. This is like the best of the best, no shit. So again, you don't need this card to push 240 FPS in Overwatch. You'll get 300 FPS on a GTX 1080. You don't need the 1080 Ti for it. The 1080 Ti is the max level enthusiast card. I'm repeating myself now, I'm a broken record, but I just really wanted to stress that because I know someone somewhere, some poor kid's gonna be like, Daddy, Daddy, he's got a 1080 Ti, I need this for the 240 hertz monitor. Shut up, Jimmy. I have a sick sense of humor. You don't need it, so just don't, don't ask your dad to buy you it, unless, like, just, just stop. I think I got everything, let's like walk back. <clears throat> I'm just gonna like, well, okay, I'll switch spots. <laughs> so we're gonna walk back through and just make sure I didn't forget anything. Computer. Docs, things, stuff, things. I think the only thing I didn't go over in this video is how do I stream? Like, how do I connect it all? But to be honest, that's really not what this video is for, I don't think. I think you guys just wanted to know, like, what the fuck do you play on? Like, what is your stream setup and what is it you're actually playing on? So, I think I covered just about everything. Um, if there's enough interest and somebody like in the comments says like, hey, can you show us how you set up your stream? I mean, I could probably do that because I really didn't tell you what plugs into what. I mean, I guess I could do that really quick for the people that are still watching this long ass video. It goes into my gaming computer, into my gaming computer, into my streaming computer, into my gaming computer, gaming, gaming, streaming, gaming, streaming, streaming, streaming. That's a cell phone charger. And then when you get over here, headset goes into gaming. When, uh, when she stopped recording, I totally tripped and I snapped this in half. So, I'll super glue that back together later. <laughs> Anyways, now the hype's gone. UX2 goes to the stream computer, stream computer, stream computer, stream, stream, here. So again, that I think that covers everything. I, I really do. So let's go back out this way. Are you kicking me out? Trash can! And then, that's it. So, you've seen my stream room in all its glory. You've seen everything that I have, everything that I play on, everything I do. Uh, was it a lot? Yes. Was it a mind-blowing amount of shit? Yes. It's kind of annoying. But, that's it. So, with that being said, I'm gonna need you guys to get out of my room and hit that like button, hit that fucking subscribe button, and leave comments, ask questions, I'll answer. If I forget something, let me know. Apart from that, I don't really got anything. I appreciate you guys. You guys are all great. And thank you for letting me do what I love. So, have a good one. Bye. Bye.